Hello guys and gals, it's GamerBoy VW with a brand new video today. Today we're going to be doing something new. Um, we're going to be reading creepy pastas while you watch gameplay. Um, so before you go hanging off me in the comments down below, um, I wanted to let you guys know that I got inspired by some ordinary gamers. So um, yeah, shout out to him. He gave me the idea to do this. So go check out his channel. He does shit like this all the time. So let's get right into that fucking video. So today's creepypasta is called He Leads Them. Um, it was posted on October 13th. And uh, yeah. Let's get right into the story. As you learn things, you notice things. As you notice things, you learn things. As you learn more, more becomes real to you. And as more becomes real to you, the more you notice. As I write this, I sit at my desk trembling. This all started with that stupid game. Play it, he said. It'll be fun, he said. My best friend told me to play this well-known horror game called Slender. And I figured, hey, why not? Sounds fun. And it was. I played it quite a few times that night. And got me into playing another game called Amnesia. I could hardly play that because I've always had the worst nerves. Then, my girlfriend showed me creepy passes, making fun of my nerves. And that's when it started going downhill. I read it. For some reason, compelled to. I could only read it at night, past midnight. And after I found it, it showed up everywhere. I figured it was the normal thing to do, right? It probably was. And unless I'm completely different, I'm scared shitless about everything. I still am. But that's only because I started noticing them. I look outside my window and see them swarming around my apartment. The ones I read and watched, I don't know if it's in my head or real. As I write this, I can hear the banging on the steps leading to the front door of my apartment. The statue in the, my bedroom is staring at me. I've already smashed my VCR and painted it over the, my mirrors. I hide my covers every night with the light turned on, willing myself to keep my eyes closed and sleep with them that way. It never works. But I still find myself alive and well the next morning. But at night, I hear them. I see them. I can feel their presence. When you know them, you notice them. I shouldn't even be writing this. And if it's on my imagination, then I could be putting you in serious danger. Because it wasn't until I started thinking it could be real that I noticed them. And he leads them. The image from nightmare is long past and deeply forgotten. His very form takes on what he knows will scare me. The worst at any given moment. As I type, I can feel him reading over my shoulder, grinning at my rising fear, but not acting, oh no. Never acting on my fear. He feeds on it, and he knows it will never leave me, because when the fear leaves me, that's when he'll devour me, and that's what keeps my fear in me. He makes me keep writing, holding my chair in place. Whenever I try and leave, He's not letting me close the document. He wants me to tell you. He wants me to let you know I think you, he's real. As you learn about them, you notice them. As you notice them, you learn about them. As you learn more about them, they become real. As they become real, they notice you. As they notice you, he leads them to you. And as he leads them to you, you can only stare. As you stare, he smiles at you. And as he smiles at you, it's too late. Girls, watch out! Watch out! Well, that was Lee. He leads me on. I think that's what it was called. Um, 
I thought it was pretty good for an unknown story, uh, unknown author. Um, yeah, I thought that was pretty good. Um, I rate that seven out of ten, just because, like, it wasn't the best uh, creepy posse you would ever see, but it wasn't that bad to be honest. Like, it's pretty good for an amateur author. Well, at least I think it's amateur. I don't fucking know. If you want to read it yourself, go down in the description down below. Um, I also have a link to uh, Some Ordinary Gamers because he just, he's a fucking cool YouTuber, okay? He's like one of my fucking favorite YouTubers of all time. Him or Jev. Yeah, one of them. Um, so, without further ado, go check out them and uh, see you guys. Later.